welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would film a huge The Range haul. Now I spent 200 pounds, <laughs> not gonna lie. It was literally like 200 pounds. So you can say I went a little bit overboard, but I haven't been to The Range since before lockdown. Um, I knew it was open, but I thought, you know what, it's gonna be way too manic. But honestly, I had such a lovely experience. You just queue up outside and then you sanitize everything as you go in and then you're all good to go. The only thing I would say is the queue to buy things was so long. Like I'm not even joking. It was like going through the store and we were like, okay. So yeah, that was a little bit like, uh, but it went down quite quickly anyway. There was only three people that were on the tills, um, obviously because you're not allowed loads of people on the tills and stuff. So yeah, that's the reason why, but it was actually all right. We were just chatting in the queues anyway, so it was all good. So you would have seen, I didn't upload a video on Sunday. There is a reason for that. And if you follow me over on my Instagram page, you will know. If you don't, make sure you do, because I update you guys a lot over there, as well with my YouTube uploads, what's going on in my life at the moment little snippets of my day and bits and bobs like that. So yeah, I love to keep you guys updated over on my Instagram page. It's just Rose Walker. But the reason that I have got a lot of stuff from the range is because after probably about a year of speaking about it, me and Bradley are finally moving into a house and it feels so weird to say that, but we're moving and I just, I can't believe it. The process has happened really, really quickly. So it's a bit of a shock to us and we're still trying to process it all, but we're honestly so excited. And you guys know I've literally wanted to move for so long. If you follow me for a while, you will know I've literally she wanted to move for the longest time we live in a flat now which we have loved we sort of grew our relationship up here i moved in here and bradley helped me paint all the walls and it was just uh, yeah i feel like our relationship just sort of grew in this flat which is so nice but i'd say probably about a year ago we outgrew this big time in the sense that it's only got two bedrooms which is good but for me and my job it's not good <laughs> i need space and i'm so fortunate with what i do i wouldn't change my job for the world i love it so much but with what i do i do need the space which is sad like, we're so sad to leave but also really excited for this new chapter of our life so yeah and if you guys follow me over on my instagram and i've probably spoken about it on my youtube before but my sister actually lives downstairs so this was a house, like a big house. It was converted into two flats. So we're literally door to door next to each other. So we're together all the time. And obviously I've grown like my niece and my nephew, like their first part of their lives with them. So it is really lovely. And it's gonna be sad to leave them, but at the same time, it'll be nice because they can come and stay around our house and we'll have a garden and it's just gonna be so lovely. So yeah, I'm so excited about it. I can't wait for all like the moving vlog, empty house tour, and then we're gonna do like house tours when everything's all in. But I'm literally gonna show you guys the process all along the way from packing this flat up completely to then unpacking it and everything. I personally love moving vlogs. I feel like I watch them all the time. Maybe because I'm so envious of them. I'm like, oh, I want to move. So now our time has come. And I'm just, honestly, I can't stop thinking about it. Like, I'm literally so excited. So I thought, what better way to start this off with a huge haul from the range. I'm sorry if you've literally clicked on this video just to see everything from the range and you're like... I just don't care about your life right now. I just want to see what you got. <laughs> but I just wanted to make a little disclaimer. And yeah, let you guys know. It's going to happen sooner than you think. Literally so soon. Um, so yeah, all the moving content is going to come ASAP. Like literally so soon. So I'm just so excited about it. But make sure you follow me over on my Instagram page. Because I'm going to update you guys on everything over there. So yeah. Anyway. Oh my god. I just It's so weird to sing it out loud. It's so weird. But. I'm so excited to share this next chapter this next chapter of our lives with you guys just to document it all um so yeah it's gonna be so exciting and I literally can't wait that like, I'm so excited anyway anyway if you lovelies want to see everything that I picked up from the range make sure you grab a cuppa because there's a lot of stuff in here then please keep watching oh my throat's all dry already okay so in the thumbnail I'm just holding like two of the bags but that's not true got a massive one as well so there's honestly a lot of stuff obviously we got a lot of stuff for the new house so i'm not going to be unpacking um 
a lot of it until then just because I want to wait it's not going to be long until we move in so I don't have to wait that long anyway um so yeah I'm not going to display a lot of it but some stuff I will I mean what a lovely thing to start on I don't even think Lottie could pick this up to be honest with you Bradley was like she'll be able to get it um it's one of those dog ball things where you don't have to like physically throw you just pick the ball up and throw it like this and it throws it quite far but it's like a really squidgy ball so Lottie, if you're not sure who Lottie is, she is our little chihuahua um, and she's just tiny and she can't fit balls like this in her mouth so because it's squidgier hopefully it'll be okay. The next thing I picked up was this. Um, how much is it? Oh I don't even know how much all of this is so it's going to take me ages to go through the receipt but I remember it being really affordable. I thought this was so beautiful. I love the silver chrome vase and obviously they're faux flowers but they're just really pretty i think they're really different and they're a bit more summery and i just think these will look really nice in our new house just to brighten it up a little bit i mean the house is so bright anyway it's just it's beautiful but i just thought this was so lovely i love the colors of it and i just yeah i think it's really pretty i'm so excited to use this i don't even know how much it was it didn't have a price on it um but anyway i've seen this on mrs hinch's like instagram stories before and it's basically a pet fur and lint remover. So you use this little brush here and you go along your sofa or I think she done it on her stairs and stuff like that. Or like any sort of furniture that your dog goes on. And then loads of fur collects onto this and then you pop it in this little device here. You go doink and it collects all of it and then you're ready to go again. And it's just a good way to not like clog your hoover up. I know it's easy just to hoover but this gets majority of the hair and stuff anyway so yeah i'm really excited lottie isn't the sort of dog that molts a lot though is it molts or molts molt molts i felt i'm saying that so wrong am i saying that wrong she molts a lot no she doesn't molt a lot i mean but when she sheds her hair for like summer spring it's a problem <laughs> so i was like yeah i need to get this i've just got a rose in here but i don't know which bouquet it's from um, so I picked three of these up. They were four ninety nine each. I remember that because <laughs> it's on the label. But I just thought these are the most beautiful roses. Obviously, I've got white ones here, but these have got a slight pink tone to them, um, and they're really, really beautiful. And I just love them. So I got these again to go into the new house. Um, I need to get a vase for them. We did look for a vase from the range, but there was literally no nice ones. The only ones I saw were like, just long, like this. I kind of want a vase that goes out because it makes your flowers look fuller. Does that make sense? Um, so yeah, I need to buy a vase. If you guys know any like really nice silver vases or anything like that, please let me know in the comments down below where you picked it up from. Um, but yeah, I think these are just so pretty. Um, and yeah, love them. I love the colour. The next things I picked up were these. They were $1.99 each and they are just like pillar candles. But they're this really beautiful dark grey, well not dark grey, but like grey marble. Um, and I just thought these are really lovely. I'm definitely going to put these in like our kitchen or something. I just think these are really, really pretty. I've actually got pink ones from the range that are the same as this, but obviously pink. Um, and they're a bit taller, but I prefer these. So yeah, I think these are really lovely. They're probably not the sort of ones that I'll light. They're more decorative, but yeah, I just think these are really cute and I love the marble of them. I just, I don't know, I think they look really nice. Bradley got this. I said to him, I was like, because you've just been so sweet at the moment, honestly, he's been so lovely. He bought me like a ring randomly and then for our anniversary, he got me a really cute bracelet. Like he's just been so, so sweet. So I was like, you can pick up something and you only picked this up from the range. Um, it's a little bike pump a mini bike pump i don't know he loves going on his bike ride so i have no idea i picked up my favorite face wipes my hair is just getting frizzier every time i'm like a little bit hot it's like the humidity can't handle it my hair's just like nope not today anyway <laughs> yeah i picked up my favorite face wipes i've actually opened the other packet but yeah these are so good johnson's ones amazing oh i got this this is the shaken back it's basically like a little powder that you sprinkle all along your carpet let it seep in for a little bit oh my god it sounded like birds were coming through my window um and then you hoover it up and then it just lifts this incredible smell but this is the magnolia and vanilla one which is my favorite i always get the lemon one only because that's the only one they have in like my sainsbury's and stuff but this one is so good again these are for the new home i picked up some coasters um they were so cheap i swear 
Um, they were like one ninety nine each, or something ridiculously cheap, or two ninety nine. Don't quote me on it completely, because you know sometimes they're in the wrong places. I always fall for that. But I do think these are really lovely. I just love the little silver and glitz and glam on them. They're probably ones that won't be like on show, but like we can have them when guests come round or yeah things like that. But um, I just thought they're really cute. I like both of them. We picked up batteries. That is, these batteries are for something that I'll show you in one minute. Manat, manat. Um, but yeah, I also got some. Um, argan oil hair mask this is literally one pound this whole range is so affordable and it's so good argan oil is so good for your hair but honestly this just smells incredible so if you haven't tried this make sure you do it's so cheap i've always picked this up since i can remember i remember in my old house it used to be my local pharmacy and i used to get it all the time like the heat protective spray and they do they do like shampoos and conditioner and it smells so nice and it's literally a pound per thing so incredible right the batteries are for these oh my god i literally love these so much so these are flickering effect led candles now they're just in a plain glass vase which i think just looks so beautiful um i'm not again these are for the new house i feel like everything's for the new house we haven't got any room for it here but just to give you an understanding that's what they look like they are quite big um but i just think these will look really lovely in the front room just to make it look a little bit cozier also if my nieces and nephew come round i need to say niece and nephews i always say that wrong so i've only got one niece and then two nephews um when they're like allowed to come round, i obviously don't want to put real candles on so these are a really good alternative to have especially for kids and stuff like that and they still look really lovely um so you just pop some batteries in them and then you're good to go so yeah i wonder if it has a controller controller a control maybe you just have to put it on underneath but yeah i'm not gonna like open these properly until we meet i mean <laughs> <laughs> we needed one of these um i feel like ours goes all funny really quickly so i just picked another one up i think they're literally like a pound so i feel like you can never have too many of these there's literally nothing to say about that this is what it's like living in brighton <laughs> Anyway, I really hope you can't hear the seagulls outside. How annoying is that? Um, anyway, that's what it's like living in Brighton, like right near the seafront. So when we move a little bit away, it will all be good and we're not gonna hear the seagulls anymore. Probably will, let's be honest. The next thing I bought, which I definitely need to like clean properly because it was sort of on display, um, is this beauty box. Now I think this was five pounds. Um, it looks like this, so there's the crushed sort of are they like crushed diamond but they're fake diamond so the plastic diamond um in this bit um and then it's got the three holders here i thought in here i could limit myself into the new house because at the moment the amount of brushes i have is a bit of a joke it's ridiculous and i don't use all of them the ones i use are in like one pot so there's just no point so i thought if i get myself a smaller pot then i'm less likely to just oh let's be honest i probably would anyway but anyway um i just thought it looks pretty i can pop some brushes in here like my daily ones that i use um and it looks neat and tidy and then yeah it's just quite simple um but i am again gonna keep it in the box because i'm gonna wait for the new house but a lot of people I say a lot of people like my family and my friends that I've told they're sort of like what are you going to do with the interior is it going to be the same is it going to be different like what's your vibe and to be honest with you the house is very light it's very white and simple just really like a bright homely home I love it so much I'm going to keep it the same sort of vibe that I've got in this flat um but I think I'm going to do a little I'm going to do it a little bit different and um, we want to get a new sofa and bits and bobs like that. But I feel like that's sort of things we get over time so it's all good. But yeah we're going to sort of keep it the same sort of vibe as you can see but um, yeah if I see things along the way then I'll be like oh that looks nice. So yeah. Oh the next thing I got um, which I really really like. Oh nearly smashed though. And I've just realised they look a little bit blue if I'm honest. Like a little bit grey. And I thought they looked lighter in person but oh well. Um, I got some picture frames. So I got two of this size. And then I also got one of the larger sizes. Which look like this. So you can either hang them up or there's a little. What are these called? Like a stand. Like a little stand here. 
um, for it to lean on. But I just thought we're going to have like black and white pictures of our family and stuff like that in the frames just to scatter around the house. So I thought these would look really cute. Um, but yeah, when I saw them in the shop, they looked a lot lighter, but they look a little bit blue, like grey. But I think when they've got a black and white picture in it, it'll look quite nice. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm not going to open these because I don't even have any pictures to go in them yet. I sort of want to move in, get all the frames and stuff like that just to design it. And then I know what picture goes in what. Um, I feel like that would look quite nice. So I feel like I'm going to get more of these. I think they were around £5 each. And I think the bigger one was like a pound more or something. Um, but yeah, they had loads of different sizes. So I'm going to see like what my vision is when I move in. And then I'll probably get more of those because... I really like the simplicity of the frames, but they also look really cool. Um, I also got this. This is a two bar chrome radiator airer. Um, it looks like this. So you can put like, after you've done your washing, you can put like a top on it or a towel and stuff like that. Um, and I just, to be honest with you, I thought it looked quite nice. I have got an airer at the moment, but it's one of those plastic ones and it's just bulky. Um, so yeah, I just thought this would look really nice over radiators when I've done some washing. Um, there is an A tumble dryer, but there's a lovely garden and it's got a really nice washing line. So in like the spring, summer, maybe autumn, I can put washing out there. Um, but yeah, just for around the house, um, I got these and it comes in a two pack. But I just thought it looks really nice and it's a little bit different to the usual radiator areas that you see. Um, so yeah, I really like that. I also got this. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually took the bedspread out. Um, I'll insert a picture on screen here. Here. Um, I was just too excited to use it, I'm not going to lie. So yeah, I got a new bedspread. I've actually had this one before, but my washing machine ruined it. I don't know what it is, my washing machine at the moment. If I put a white wash on, there's just loads of stains that come out and they're like black stains and I don't know what it's from. Like, I literally don't know what it's from. Adulting is hard, okay? So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to get a new one because I tried to wash it, made it worse obviously. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to get a new one. Um, and then I'll wash it when I'm moving to the new house, which is really soon. Um, so yeah, I think this was 24 99 and it's huge, like literally so big. So yeah, I love that. Right, the next bits and bobs we got, um, I got some of these glow white um, in-wash sachets. These are really good. I think you only get three in here, but they work wonders. So if you do put a white wash on, normally, like whenever I do my towels and stuff, and stuff like that they come out gleaming and um, which is really good so yeah I always pop one of these in a white wash I also got this little like scrubby sponge it's not a sponge like a brush um, and I'm gonna clean the sofa with this I think we're gonna sell it um, because it's just it's a really nice DFS sofa that we've got at the moment but because we're upgrading into a house and stuff, we just want to upgrade our sofa too, just for a bigger one, because that one was a perfect fit for the sofa in this flat, but yeah, we want to get a bigger one. Um, so yeah, I want to clean that sofa before we sell it, just so it's good to go and it's gleaming. So I got one of these brushes, which was so cheap. Don't know how much they were, but cheap. Bradley got a drain unblocker because adulting is great, isn't it? <laughs> um, we also got some sellotape. I feel like... I always need sellotape, but like, I feel like it's an essential thing to have in your bits and bobs drawer. And I don't know where ours is, so I got some. Oh, I also got this candle. Now, obviously the color doesn't really go with my home, but the smell of it is really nice. So it's called Ocean Adventure, and it just smells so bright, and it just reminds me of a summer's day. It's honestly so nice. So I thought in the new house I could light this like when we're moving in, just to get like some nice scents in as well, so yeah. Love that. Oh, this is cute. This is $3.99. I got a little um, power bank and it's quite small, but I just thought this is a really good size to go into my handbag because I have got a power bank, but it's heavy, it's bulky and it's just annoying. So yeah, I just thought this is really cute. It comes with a little key ring and um, obviously it's marble. So I thought I had to get it. And yeah, I just thought it's really cute. So this can go in my little bag if my phone dies. I really don't know why I got this, but it's marble duct tape. If I see anything marble, I don't know why I have to get it. It cost me like three pounds, so I don't know why I got it, because I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, to be honest with you. But, you never know when you're gonna need marble duct tape. I don't know why I got it, I don't know. And then the last thing, which was actually the last thing we put in our basket, was this. I am just so obsessed with this. I'm not gonna lie, I actually have one already. Um, and it's in my beauty room, but it's sort of died a little bit. Um, and it's just a really cute little, a little bot, like storage box that you can put into your room. I've actually got matching cushions of this, 
on my bed so i think this is going to go in our new bedroom um and i think i'll probably just put like maybe a blanket in it or i don't know to be honest with you <laughs> i don't know but i really liked it and i think it was around five pounds which is so good and i love the little handles on it i just think it's really lovely um in i have this in my beauty room at the moment and i always put any new pr products that i get sent into it just so i know that they're new products i can have a look through them and it's just a good way just to keep them stored out the way but they look really nice as well um so yeah really cute i also picked up a mirror now it is the loveliest mirror ever i've wanted it for the longest time and we actually hung it up in my well in our front room at the moment um it just looks so nice especially against our wallpaper and stuff honestly it's beautiful so yeah we've got a lovely mirror which is just so lovely so obviously that's going to come into the new house with us and i think that's going to go in like the dining room bit um so yeah a little sneak peek but um yeah that's literally that's all i got really no i did get a lot and i'm definitely gonna be going back for more because honestly there was a lot of good stuff at the moment in there and i really recommend it and there's an egg chair in there that i want for a garden honestly it's so nice so anyway my lovelies this is the end of the video i really hope you guys have enjoyed it and I'm just so excited to share this next chapter of our lives with you. I'm so excited to document it all for the moving vlogs to finally commence. After so long of me talking about it, it's literally finally here. And yeah, honestly, I'm so excited that I literally can't wait. So yeah, we're gonna be moving sooner than you guys think. So make sure you follow me over on my Instagram page and I'll be giving you guys any updates um, for videos that are coming out and just updates in general over there. So yeah. Anyway, my lovelies, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one and yeah, there's just going to be a lot of home content coming and I'm so excited. So make sure you put any video requests you have in the comments down below and yeah, hopefully I will see you all in my next one. Bye!